Okay, this is my 30D, and the color checker is on a stand. You want to make sure the light is pointing and bouncing off the color checker and into your lens. The angles are important here. And then I'm going to use my light meter. It's f8, tenth of a second, 400 ISO. And we're going to make sure the checker is all lined up in the frame. I want to zoom in as tight as possible. Now the first shot is what the light meter said, which is zone 5. I'm using the incident exposure value. The second shot is zone 2, which is 3 stops underexposed. That, that leaves us at tenth of a second at f22. Now we're gonna do a third shot, open up three stops, and we're gonna have to adjust our shutter speed, fifth of a second, and f4.0. Now, plug it in the card, and we're gonna start loading our images onto the desktop, EOS Digital. I'm gonna click and drag on the 100 Canon folder, drag it onto my desktop, let it load. Now make sure you eject the EOS Digital or Nikon card by right clicking on it and going to eject. And it takes a minute to load here. Okay, so now we right click EOS and eject it. Then it's safe, pull it out. Now we're in the Siconic data transfer software now, and we're going to create a new profile and use quick mode. Um, it's gonna ask us what's the target. There are three options here. I chose the X-ray color checker passport because that is my target. And then it's going to require the values. You're going to have to input your f-stop shutter speed um, and ISO. And so I used ISO 400. And um, we have a problem here, actually. It doesn't give you tenth of a second. You only have eighth of a second. So we have to adjust our numbers a little bit, just play equivalency. So I'm going to change the shutter speed. To an eighth of a second to match the DTS software. And that leaves my aperture at F9. And since there's no F9, we're going to have to make it F8 and three tenths of a stop. So. We're just kind of using uh, program mode, if you will, just using equivalency for the same value. Now we're going to have to select the images we shot. There should be three. What you have to do is you have to open the images and then just put a check mark in that little white box for each of the three targets, target shots. The zone two, five, and eight. The, um, the shot, the exposure value that the light meter gave you, and then three stops underexposed, three stops overexposed. All you have to do is put a check mark in the box and then what happens next is we're going to analyze the pictures and basically uh, we're going to place four different markers for the corners of the target. Uh, there's a brightness bar 
on the other exposed shot, you can increase it to see better. You basically just want to put those green plus signs on top of those white corners on the X-ray passport. For each of the three pictures. I should also mention to grab the EXIF data, the metadata, so I didn't have to key in the exposure values for each shot. It measures and calculates, and it shows us a graph. Pretty neat. Now, the values it gives us, 245, 230, 118, etc. Those we can adjust, and that's the beauty of creating a profile. We're expanding our dynamic range. So I'm going to name this profile EOS 30D fluorescent because that was the lighting. And then I'm going to go back to the home screen of the DTS software and choose Edit Profile, Change Exposure Range. Now I can key in the values that I want, the clipping values. You can just use the values I used. Uh, these values were suggested from an X-ray person. I chose to save as a different profile. That's not necessary. Um, I like to keep things separate. So I just call it a tweak. And now what we're going to have to do is plug in our light meter and we're going to transfer the profile into one of the camera slots. As you can see, my particular light meter has three profiles. The newer ones have, I think, 20 profiles, which is just fantastic. You can't even come up with that many different light sources, really. I mean, spectral-wise. Um, so we click on the profile, click to the right. It'll go into slot number two for now. It doesn't matter what slot you put it in. And there we go. Profile transfer complete. Now we exit our software and let me just show you on my meter what you have to do to change to that profile so it more accurately reads light for my particular body. So I have to hold the ISO 1 button and hit the mid button.